The Lingdon Frontal Organization strongly condemns NAC and IM death threat to leaders of the Lingdon Civil Society based in Manipur, Naglin and Sam on charge of indulging in anti-national activities. In major breakthrough horticulture department, Northeast Agro Products Gurgaon ELF won the metric turn of pineapple produce from the state for the first time. And Kangli Indigenous Martial Arts and Cultural Society stays sit in demanding recruitment of regular Thangta teachers. Kurumjari, good evening. You're watching Primetime English News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari, bringing you the latest updates. First up, Zelengrong Fontel organization strongly condemned the death threat to leaders of Zelengrong civil societies based in Manipur, Nagaland and Assam by NSC and IM, alleging them of indulging in anti-national activities today. The organization maintained that people of the community will stand unite, will face the land and identity issues despite threats from NSC and IM. They stated that they will not succumb to any force which threatens their unity and integrity. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club today, President of Zelengrong, Baudi, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland, Atwan Abonmai condemned the allegation of anti-national activities on civil society organization of Zelengrong. He maintained that the organization have no interference in Naga issues, however, condemned NSC and IM for de-recognizing Zelengrong from Naga communities. Abonmai maintained that the community is not under NSC and IM. He also intimated that Zelengrong Frontal Organization has submitted a memorandum to the Union Home Minister to look into the same. Thousands and thousands of Zelengrong intellectual leaders and then youth things are ready to sacrifice. If you eliminate the NSC and IM, you can't get a question. If you have a question, you can't get a question. If you have a challenge, you can't get a question. If you have a challenge, you can't get a question. If you have a disturbance, you can't get a question. If you have a question, you can't get a question. Hosi, matang matang mahan kita orang yang nak tahu rak bagi aku defence tu orang lembak, dua organisasi ini boh. Lain, mesti aku mahu detect tak sedih ada anti national ni ada hari besi. Kerana macam mana? Underground office zaman na civil organisasi ini boh anti national ni hari besi apa? Mahu kita kari authority lah. Jadi orang orang peoples ni di apex body ni aku di mandate boh ini aku di organisasi ini ada apex body ini lebih bni. Mandate pangba, mandate lembak organisasi ini boh mahu ini bend tu orang lembak. Mukhoi kerana mahu authority lah. Aku ini jeli orang bauti hari besi self share. Asyik dia 1925 dek establish tower ke lekar abadu gumba organisasi ni apex bauti emani. Nation mana unique history of naga aduan yang claim tower kangbuna. Mak research kerja isu base tower tower mak masagi government emani lekar abah naga ki kanunena tower lekar kangbuna kerja isu base tower tower bida government India ni di sana lekar aku yara ya ni sampai saya modul yang tu na. Withdraw to open a pagani. In a major breakthrough of the Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department of Manipur, a buyer based in New Delhi, namely Northeast Agro Products Gurgaon, has airlifted one metric ton of pineapple produce from the state today. The feat was accomplished after a written agreement was signed between the company and officials of Manipur Organic Mission Agency, that is MoMA, the Minister of the Horticulture Department and top officials of the department. According to the Memorandum of Understanding, the buyer will airlift one metric ton of queen and Q variety of pineapple every day or every alternate day till the produce are available with the farmers. Speaking to media person, Horticulture and Soil Conservation Minister Thaunaujam Sham Kumar assured that Mission Organic will be implementing value chain processing plants for organic horticultural producers in the state in the following years. He said this will further benefit pineapple growers in the state as the produce will attract more national and international buyers in the times to come and the difficulties of the non availability of market will be done away with. Jadi yang lip tawa, hau baca nama ni pergi. Hormat sih dah. Anak ubah, mikap tawa pun memang. Hau re hai tu na ini media ki tang dah. Manipur ki perasaan sih dah. Puning hantar balik itu na. Subuh nombor dah. Amadi, kau yang kau yang thajiri bermain marong sih, mayam sih ada. Organik kau ibu asyeng ba. 
also taking part in the press made project director of MoMA, K. Dev Dutta Sharma, maintained that the company sealed the deal with the state after MoMA, in collaboration with Mission Organic Value Chain Development in Northeastern Region, Government of India, came to agreement with the pineapple growers at Thayong, Andro, Waitau, Chiru, Bunglon, and Kausabong. He said that one metric ton of pineapples airlifted today is worth approximately 30,000 rupees. Maintaining that the mission will carve vestiges of pineapples, the project director assured that farmers of the state will hugely benefit from this mission. Any agro products hairiba company sina magi mapur si si arora koi hairiba arora si numit mari manga ni giba mang da imphal da visit tawri ekho honorable minister go unai honorable minister go unarwa matung da kihom thariba mapham sik da hakthing na chat laga farmer singa unadana mamal na chimba ngangna ro matung da mana yamna pamna agreement na matong ni si haidna thambir padagi agreement si tongnarwa matung da nga sina ahan ba airlift thoba cargo da ekho jet airways da ahan ba ton ama Kangli Indigenous Martial Arts and Cultural Society, Kimak, stays a sit-in at Kashampat Yumjau Lidenbi Community Hall today, demanding the state government to recruit regular teachers for Thangta. Speaking to media person, Publicity and Information Secretary of Kimax. Suraj Thangjum maintained that the subject has already been included as a separate subject for class 9 to 12 in the Manipur board syllabus since 2014. The secretary termed it unfortunate that, despite issuance of countless notices for recruitment of teachers, recruitment of Thangta teachers is never included in the notifications. He noted that three batches of class 10, including one batch of class 12, had already given their board examination in the absence of a regular Thangta teacher. Many members of various Thangta organizations took part in the protest. <laughs> Pangtu kiba class 12 ki examination dasu thang ta is the exam tha ba yao prabha subject amani adubu masi ba oboda asi kumba subject amma oi nama pung phana exam class 12 pao ba exam tha ba yao raba subject asi masi ba oboda oza anta lobi dana thambai si labda masi ki naat amma di culture thang ta bu ga mena karishu lai chana khan ba namtha raga thammani amish tang thamsa ge ga mengi saite ki ta seng da seng na post amma create ta raga thang ta ge oza lau raga ni hai ba wafam zi masi ba oboda phong dorak te masi hek Students of various schools and colleges organized protest rally today demanding recruitment of regular Thangta teachers. The student led by members of Kangle Indigenous Martial Arts and Cultural Society organized a rally following the sit-in at Keshampat Yumjau Lidenbi Community Hall. The rally started from the community hall and approached toward Chief Minister Banglo. However, they were stopped by city police personnel near Raj Bhavan. The student then continued their rally towards Kaishampat and concluded at Kaishampat Yumjau Lidenbi Community Hall, where they resumed the sit-in in protest. Employees Welfare Association Kakching Kuno College has appealed the government to appoint Dr. Sharda as a regular principal of Kakching Kuno College. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club, spokesperson of the association, Dr. K. H. Suben, maintained that Dr. Sharda was the principal in charge of Kakching Kuno College for three years, who is qualified for the post. He also said that the academic atmospheres of the college was peaceful and stable under her administration. Subain intimated that Joint Director of Education S. L. Iboyaima has been serving as the principal in charge following a case filed by another lecturer of the college, Mani Tombi, who claimed that she should be the principal of the college. Dr. K. Subain maintained that the case had already been resolved that 
and that it is time to appoint a Dr. Sharda as a regular principal of the college. He further warned of adopting various agitations if the government and concerned department appoint an inefficient principal in place of Dr. Sharda. ကိုနဂိုမင်တဲ့လန်ကြီးလဲဘောစီဖြစ်ပြီးစပန်းစီရိုက်ဘန်းနွေပါမရမစာပါအသူကုန်ပါအာရအာစုပါမှာအွယ
Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club today, General Secretary of the Association, L. Langtingen Vaipai, maintained that the agitation which commenced on July 11 will be temporarily halted, however, warrant of continuing the protest if the government fails to fulfill their demand by August 8. It may be mentioned that the VDF personnel in the state launched their agitation and demanding 75% of the salary of a police constable. ไอ้ซิสวอกสไตรซูไฮยิงดะกิอะคอยลอกโทนี่อะดะกะไฮยิงดะกิฮาวระกะตังอะกัสเดดเอดพาวซีอะคอยดิวตี้ซีอะคอ
He maintained that the clean and hygienic surrounding is requisite to prevent diarrhea and appeal everyone to be aware of the benefits of ORS. <laughs> The Imphal Chamber of Commerce was inaugurated at Dharmasala Thangal Bazaar today. Speaking on the occasion, social scientist Dr. Dhanabir Lashram said that an associated Chamber of Commerce was initially launched in 1954, after which Chamber of Commerce was opened in 2001. However, both remain non-functional till then. Dhanabir maintained that Chamber of Commerce will help in boosting the economy of the state if it operates efficiently. Speaking further, he said that the chamber will help in carving malpractices adopted by various traders. He also mentioned that the favorable distance between India and China will further enhance and increasing the state's income. Office bearers of the Imphal Chamber of Commerce for the term 2018 to 2021 were also elected on the occasion. N. Momon was appointed as the president, Viju Patni, Okram Indrani, and Mamit Singh. Arora as the Vice President and W. Manglim as the Secretary General, respectively. Sahi Sangrabasi, the Masi Tabam de Tobre. Masi Mamanda, nineteen fifty four, the Moy Associated Chamber of Commerce and Mazule. The High River, a quick business key, the good trade and industry body, Sina, Magi Tabon Tokomiama, from the very beginning, Toragadi, Manipurgi, a quick Miams in his semilonzi. Yamna Paninga Wavening. A Shang Romatam Zida, Quigi, Potsi, my Magi interest, the profit Lane Nava, Akanaba, me, Karana, hoarding Toba, Duga business, Sidata, profit, see, I mean, alone Nava Miamgi, Welfiaga, the Amlamna Bogi Monglaqua, business give bodies in a Yam Papa regulation, Nama Toragadi, Yaman Fanekale, Duga, even Katin the Toy Watomiam, you talk to be ever. Sangai Pro Naharol Club and Anjika Center for Manipur Dance and Movement Therapy Imphal Branch jointly organized a felicitation program for all successful students of class 10 and 12 board examination 2018, including players who backed medals in the state and national level Thangta competitions. Newly appointed principal of Maharaja Bodhachandra College, Professor Mairambam Chandra, was also felicitated on the occasion. Speaking on the occasion, Patsoi MLA A.K. Mirabai maintained that class 10 and 12 are important crossroads in one's life and that these results will decide the future of the students. She expressed contentment at large number of girl students from her constituency who excelled in the board examinations. <laughs> Hangang United Clubs Organization, that is HUCO, organized a ninth meritorious award program for Hangang constituency at Hangang Panthoibi Lampa Community Hall today. Speaking on the occasion, social worker Nongthombam Hiainu maintained that education plays a pivotal role in the 21st century and that one cannot accomplish anything without education. She appealed all parents to give priority to education of their children and maintained that education will eliminate any struggle of unemployment. Hiainu also is short of providing any form of assistance from her side to eliminate grievances caused by the unemployment in the state. 72 meritorious students who excelled in the recent class 10 and 12 board examinations were felicitated on the occasion.
Diamond Club in Wankai Ayangpali observed its Golden Jubilee celebration at the complex of the club today. Successful students of class 10 and 12 board examinations 2018 who secured high marks were also felicitated on the occasion. Yashkul MLA T. H. Saitabratta handed over the Mishnam Pishak Devi Memorial Scholarship to Lusika Lokrakpam as a part of the observance. Sana Janvastan Club Kishantong Nambul Papal in a press release stated that the club observed its 60th Foundation Day today. Distribution of meritorious award and release of a journal marked the event. All Boys Association Sainik School, Golpara, Assam, Manipur, in collaboration with Irrigation Maintenance Division and Water Resource Department, organized a free sorry a tree plantation program at Singda Dam Kangchuk today. The association also planted tree saplings in collaboration with Old Manipur IOC Dealer Association at Malim, Malim, sorry, Malom Oil Depot on July 22nd last week. Members of Helping Hen Kanglai Park Gym in Singjamai Sapamlaikai donated rice, pulses, salt and other edible items to the improvised section of the society today. Helping Hen Kanglai Park distributed the said items in four different places including Uripok, Bhamon Kampu, Mayang Imphal and Singjamai Sapamlaikai. A poetry book entitled Tabi Drabat Tenthakol by renowned playwright and theatre director Ratan Thiam was released at Chorus Repertory Theatre Uripo Kangchup Road today. The book comprising of 29 poems is the fourth poetry book of the writer. The poems are predominantly based on the melancholic agonies experienced by the writer. Many eminent scholars and writers attended the releasing event. Manipur Legislative Assembly Speaker Yumnam Kemchan released a magazine entitled Manipur Affairs published by Manipur Affairs Publication House at Manipur Press Club today. Football Players Association of Manipur was founded at the office of Thangmai Ban Athletic Union today. More than 150 football players in the state attended the program and unanimously elected Mohammad Kabir Ahmed as the president, L. Ashok as the vice president, L. David as the secretary and T. H. Shankar as the treasurer, including 13 executive members of the association. The Football Association was constituted with an objective to provide fair opportunity to all the football lovers in the state without any unjustified interference. It may be mentioned that the 12th Manipur State League participated by 12 reputed football teams was terminated before proceeding further matches due to some controversies. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary of Football Player Association of Manipur, L. David, appealed the government and relevant authorities to resolve the issue arising from 12th Manipur State League at the earliest. I think I was in the forum. I think I was in the the I biased on a letter. Some yet talk with him, Jimata Mang was Hilary. I could get appealed to Jim Marina. I could bowl Sanazin, Sanagan, Toxary, Plaque, Bowl Sanabu, Amanti, Sano Fang, Mill, Marilena, authorities in a Yinks and Biraga, Sanab Zimapun, Sanan Music. General Secretary of All Manipur Badminton Association in a press release informed that the 37 Inter District and 63rd State Open Badminton Championship will be held at Bakshi Ground Indoor Stadium at Hungpung from August 22nd to 25th. The association also notified that the second Yonex Sunrise All Manipur Mini and Sub Junior Ranking Badminton Tournament will be held at the Indoor Hall of All Manipur Badminton Association in DM College campus from August 9 to 12th. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. 
Zelenzong Frontal Organization strongly condemns NSC and IM's death threat to leaders of Zelenzong civil societies on charge of indulging in anti-national activities. In a major breakthrough of horticulture department, Northeast Agro Products Gurgaon airlift one metric ton of pineapple produced from the state for the first time. And Kangle Indigenous Martial Arts and Cultural Society stays sitting and demanding recruitment of regular Thangta teachers.